So there are many unmet needs in mastocytosis, and perhaps the biggest is identify, identification of these patients. Um, unfortunately, these patients present with a wide range and a broad range of symptoms. And so these can be neurologic, like brain fog, um, to allergic reactions, to hematologic, um, you know, dizziness, dizziness and fatigue, and so, some very nonspecific symptoms. And so patients, we know that along the patient journey, it can take them up to seven years to actually finally get a diagnosis. And so we need to shorten that patient journey and identify these patients uh, faster. One of the ways to do that is that we now have high sensitivity uh, PCR techniques to detect uh, the KIT D816V mutation, and this can be performed in peripheral blood. It is not widely available yet, um, but it's starting to make its way into clinical laboratories. And so thus, you can identify a majority of patients of systemic mastocytosis just by testing a patient's peripheral blood. And then once you have a positive peripheral blood, then you would proceed for the diagnostic procedure, which would be a bone marrow in order to classify what type of systemic mastocytosis a patient has. But this is great news because there's also many diseases that mimic mastocytosis and far better to um, have a negative PCR test and, and then the patient can get an additional workup for, an appro for whatever disease that they have.